So we came out here, I think it was like Stargate for a while. He wasn't gonna kiss me. Literally no snow. But this is the trail that we wanted to do. It is 35 degrees outside though. That was done with work though. Big Creek, which is by the rock. It's in that general vicinity. And this spot is where I took Kristen for our first kiss. So we came out here, I think it was like stargaze for a while, I think. Watch the sunset. Watch the sunset, yeah. And was, this is a perfect place for that. I've come up here a lot of times just to do that. You can't really so. tell right now. But it is beautiful. <laughs> It is very, very, very beautiful. Just hard to appreciate right now. Okay, tell them why you didn't want to kiss me. It's a really sweet, I think it's a sweet notion. Will you tell them? Will you tell them? Future Kristen editing self here, making an editorial note. Scott said that he was tired of kissing other people's wives. Other people's wives means people that become other people's wives. So just for a little clarification and reference, if you're like, what, he's kissing other people's wives? No, it's what will later become other people's wives because the relationships don't work out. <laughs> so he wasn't gonna kiss me until it felt right. And we had been dating, what, a month? Maybe a if more, that. yeah. Before he, he kissed me. I made the first move and he totally turned me down. Because my husband is a true gentleman and he really wanted to just make sure that he was pursuing the right things. He wanted a relationship that was going to mean more than just a makeout session. So it's pretty awesome. I think he's pretty awesome. I think you're pretty awesome husband. And that's what he told me. I'm tired of kissing other people's wives, but we can hang out and date and stuff. And then now we've brought our dog. Hi bud. <laughs> Yeah, we brought our dog to our favorite spot. I don't know if you can hear that. That's rushing water. These right here are blackberry bushes. Starting to bud that on our hike that Alyssa and I did to go to the edge of a waterfall. We had to hike through bushes. And one thing she told me when you step on these thorns right here. You want to step directly down on top of them. That way when you're passing through them, they don't stick on you because they are very, very sticky and very, very thorny. But if you're ever in the mountains and you want to know what the blackberry bush looks like, use your own judgment, but this is essentially what they are. <laughs> so what is this, Scott? This is Big Creek Power Plant from uh, Southern California Edison. And uh, we're at one of the dams. I'm not sure if this dam uh, is the hydro dam right here where they're letting water out or if the dam that I'm thinking of is 
Either downstream or upstream. I don't know which. <laughs> okay, so this is the railroad that they use to get the dams up, right? Correct. Well, I don't know about the dam, but I know that's what they use to get the pin stocks up. And now, the pin stocks are? Uh, yeah. These pipes. These pipes. I believe okay. they're these pipes. Okay. And what they used with the railroad was they had a pulley system at the top. Uh-huh. And they uh, would haul everything they needed up to the top with that uh, with a train. And so now the now that the product's done and all that stuff, now you can just hike hike up. do a hike but we but we can't because we don't have a permit which is a ginormous bummer because we're literally three days away from where you don't need to worry about a permit but guess what there's no snow but this is the trail that we wanted to do. Ba Balsam Four Bay Trail. But we can't do it because it's the 27th and there's itty bitty bit of snow. Giant bummer. And Jet's like just excited to be out of the car and seeing white stuff. Jet! Come on. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just stretching my legs, guys. Stretching my legs. So, okay, what you should do is go up there fire. and see what's there. See, I know there's snow on the ground, so I'm not going to be going too much. But, so we have gone. Summertime, huh. spring, not really. Yeah. We've gone from spring to winter in two hours. Husband, what's that smell? Fresh air. So, so good. We just passed China Peak and we opened up the windows, and the snow's now gone, but it smells. We're excited to go check out the uh, portal overview from Portal House next to Huntington Lake. It comes down from Edison Lake, I believe it is. But it is a ripping and a roar easy though. How much water is coming out here is nuts. Never seen it before like this.
It is 35 degrees outside though. And I was dumb enough to wear shorts. So this little overview area shows all the uh, powerhouses of Big Creek, Southern California Edison, all their dams and uh, the pipelines that go for it. It's pretty cool. Wow. You want to see how cold it is? Come in. Come on outside. No. Why not? It's cold. Come on. No. So I'm in here eating dinner. Christmas out with Jet in the snow. Playing around, having fun. What? What? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> go. <laughs> I wonder what they're doing. It's freezing! And it's 33 degrees again. <laughs> Get it, bud. Get it. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> so you remember what? I think I remember last year we went to Edison Lake, which is closed right now. Can't get there. Was this what Jason was in? Yes. Okay. It was that last year this time. And <clears throat> the first night was really a trial night for us because it was a first time camping with the dog. Yeah. During the night, he was freezing to death. So yeah. once I got him finally like in his sleeping bag next to us. Uh -huh. In between us, like literally wedged. And we sort of had him like zipped up a little bit. Yeah, even. yeah. <laughs> but when Kristen got up the next morning, she let us alone, us guys sleeping, <laughs> and Jet was just happy as can be, but now we're on our way home. We pretty much did a hydro plant tour, tour right? Sort of. future editing self here going through the video that I am uh, creating I realized that the end is in the next video and so I'm going to interject an, a pseudo end to this video and just say if you did anything interesting with your Memorial Day weekend we would love to hear about it please share with us in the comments below what it was that you did with your weekend. If you like our video, please feel free to like the video. If you didn't like the video, or you have any comments or critiques for the video, please leave them in the comments below and give us a dislike if that's what you think the video deserves. Um, we want to communicate with you in the comment section, so definitely engage, start inter interacting with us there. We appreciate you being here. If you want to continue to be notified of our videos, subscribe. If there is a bell icon, hit the bell icon if you so choose. And we'll see you guys next time. The next videos are coming out. We know we're a little behind. Bear with us. They're going to be scheduled for the next couple of weeks. And yeah, we're excited for them. They're fun. They're fun ones. And it's really nice like going back through and seeing all of the things that we've been able to do over the past year. So we'll see you on the flip side. Bye. Oh wait, sorry. It's what is what is what is Scott's thing? It's from that movie. What is it? Oh no, I don't remember. Bye! <laughs>